Welcome back guys. Tonight we're going to be going over how to prepare caterpillars for the freezer. Um, had a neighbor who had a whole bunch of these caterpillars on their tree. I don't believe they're to be catapa worms. They seem to be a little bit different. They're not. They don't have a solid green belly. They're striped. There's no barbs on the ends of them like a normal catapa worm. However, I think they'll catch fish. So first what you're gonna wanna do is get a pot, fill it up with water, get it just above or just under boiling. I have it under low now. I'm gonna take one of the worms, soak them in there. And what's gonna happen is um, their body's gonna heat up and the insides are gonna stiffen. And then once it does that, we'll prepare them with cornmeal in a plastic bag and we'll freeze them and this should last them for a good six to seven months in the freezer um, just by throwing them in with the cornmeal without boiling them what happens is they'll flatten out kind of just be like a rubber hose you're throwing in the fridge whenever you go to bait your hook it'll just be all flimsy now this should keep them plump and juicy after we dethaw them months ahead when we gotta rehook them. So as you can see here, this one's starting to rise to the top. It's about finished. It's pretty stiff. So we'll go ahead. We'll get all these ones. I guess you could call it cooked. They're not really gonna be cooked, it's just gonna stiffen them up. Throw them in with some cornmeal, put them in the freezer bags, put them in the freezer. All right, so now that we have all the worms, I guess you'd call it cooked, stiffened. And we're just gonna take a little bit of our cornmeal, put it in a bag. And I'm gonna do about eight pieces per bag. And what the cornmeal is going to do is they freeze, say they leak some juices, the cornmeal is going to soak that up, it's going to keep them from sticking to each other as they're freezing, and when they thaw, it gives a little bit extra taste for catfish. That's about what it'll look like. And again, these aren't top of worms. However, there were so many on my neighbor's tree, I just decided to start picking. If you happen to know what kind of worms these are, please leave a comment in the comment section love to find out. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these bagged and I'll be back to put them in the freezer. Alright guys, well we ended up with 82 in total and I got 8 bags. Anywhere from 8 to 12 a bag depending on how much corn flour or cornmeal I put in. Um, I found that I was using anywhere from a quarter to a half a cup of cornmeal. As you can see, this is a bigger one. I have about a dozen in there. And again, these should freeze nicely and hold for anywhere from six to seven months. And I just use basic yellow cornmeal and Dollar General bags. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And this is on Real and with Ray. Thank you.